welcome back to the Wizard's Tower. I'm hard at work at the moment on the D&D Beginner series, but that's not what the video today is about. Uh, I got a package in the mail, I was expecting it, but I thought I'd unpack it with you guys. Because it's something I was going to talk about anyway, so I figured I might as well do the video now. Uh, I know who this is from, as it's printed on the back. Uh, but a few days ago, it wasn't long ago now, I had a conversation with uh, Nick from Red Dragon Gaming, which is a UK-based wargaming and tabletop company. Because I picked up their first two sets of tiles. And these are probably my favourite tiles on the market. They are really thick cardstock. I don't know if you can see. Um... Beautifully illustrated, double-sided, and what they tend to do is they have two themes per set. So the first set was the Town and Wilderness set. And in the Town and Wilderness set you got lots of wilderness tiles that could be placed together. And on the other side you got lots of town tiles. That's a church and the graveyard that goes with it, part of the tavern some streets uh, and they're all beautifully illustrated nice glossy thick cardstock with the one inch grid on them so I have that set and then I also have the second set which was the castle and dungeon set so these make up castle walls there's lots of those and then on the flip side of them there is Dungeons, whoop, a dungeon entrance for a water feature there, so there's another dungeon part, and these also slot together to create a random dungeon, or preset, depending on how you run your games. So having the first two sets, and that's how many you get, you get loads of tiles in there, I had a chat with Nick, he's running uh, their fourth set now, which is the Cave and Cavern set. And that's actually on Kickstarter at the moment. I'll pop a link in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, but they are amazing tiles. And like I say, they're probably my favourite tiles on the market. I use them the most. So having that conversation, he said, well, why don't I send you the third set, which he knew I didn't have. Uh, and the, uh, the third set is the Village and Riverland. So, ah, let's crack it open. Very well packaged. And we'll take a closer look at these. So, I ah, thought, hey, let's have a look at these together. Now, if you like any of what you see today, you can go to the Adventure Realm Cave and Caverns Kickstarter um, or if you actually go to their website which is reddragongaming.co.uk you can pick up any of their previous sets they've also got other things on there like uh, some terrain and if you use the code WYSARD W-Y-S-A-R-D use that promo code you'll get 10% off anything you purchase everything so if you like what you see, pop there, do that. It will help the channel out a little bit. Because obviously they'll then be able to know who's buying what off the back of these videos. So, Adventure Realm, Village and Riverland. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll um, change up the camera so that you can actually see these tiles a bit better. Uh, it's also worth noting that when you back these on Kickstarter, you can actually get the PDFs. And I found the PDFs to be really useful because you can sit there and work out your maps and write them into your adventures. So you can reposition them, write little tags on them. And that's another thing that I found really handy. Anyway, let's get to having a look at these tiles. Okay, so let's have a look at what's inside. 
Adventure Realm map tiles. Give your gaming a boost with this set of 16 full colour double sided illustrated map tiles. Quickly create scenes for your game from these modular village and riverland maps. The tiles are compatible with dry wipe non permanent markers and are printed over a subtle one inch grid pattern for extra playability. A must for any tabletop gamer. So this village and riverland set includes a farmhouse, two field tiles, windmill, orchard, ruined building, walled lane, rural road, seven straight river tiles, two river corners, river jetty, waterfall bridge, ford, four stream tiles, stream corner, uh, two round house tiles, druid hut, village hall, village well and standalone tiles. So let's crack these open. I'm always amazed at how well this Red Dragon stuff comes packaged. And I like the, uh, the fact it looks like a book on the side as well. Okay, let's get one of you. So, as you can see on the inside, it actually says this adventure continues with, and you get, there's the castle. Dungeon, Town and Wilderness, and like I say at the moment, they're doing their own, the uh, Cave and Cavern set. Uh, so each Adventure Realm set works with itself and in combination with the others uh, in the range. Every set you add to your collection adds more variety and possibilities for your gaming layouts. Build a castle with a moat, a dungeon entrance next to an ancient standing stones, or a village hidden deep within the forest. The options are endless. And yeah, it's good that they're reminding me. If you actually go to the website, they have free PDFs, uh, which are extra bits. So they might be uh, treasure chests or um, campsites, that kind of thing. So they're little print yourself tokens. But let's have a look. So, a nice river bend there with a tree, and that will be the windmill. It's really nice. You've got a tower of some description, or a circular hut, and another river bend. It's another circular hut or tower with farming bits, so that could be the druids. There's a river straight. Another river straight and a field, always useful. That's a well and another river straight, that's nice. And another field and a river straight. Two, bless me, wow. We have got some kind of inn or tavern. And just a wall. Okay. Wow, I always try and get my sneezes out before I start streaming. Right. There's a bridge. And another river straight there. More of a wall with two trees. And some more walls with a dirt track. Uh, some kind of farm. And another river straight. A ruin with the dirt track on it. And more wall. Another river straight. And then that, I believe, is the waterfall. Continuing on, got two pieces of wall, the dirt track, and some trees. Looks like an orchard. And then you have some more trees with the wall. Got three little circular huts there, and another river straight. You got the dirt path joining a main road. Well, that's going to be. I'll show you some of the combinations you can do, but I know that this is actually part of one of the other sets. And you got the wall, the standing stones, very typical of a sort of. Every encounter has to have a standing stone encounter, and then more river straight. 
So I'm really happy with these. These are absolutely brilliant as always. I had no doubts to be honest because I absolutely love the Red Dragon stuff. So what I'll do is I'll show you, uh, where was it? So there's that one and then you can have a couple of rivers here and then we can have that kind of coming off that. And if I go into some of these previous sets, I believe that there's a road on one of these as well. There we go. So you could do that by mixing and matching the different sets. As I say, this was a kind of look at these tiles, but knowing full well I was going to absolutely love them because the previous sets are brilliant as well as more of those road sections on the old maps. Now, one of the reasons why I'm showing you this is I fully intend to use these for the uh, beginners, D&D beginners videos. And to show you that, well, here's a Lord of the Rings miniature. There you go. So they, the 25, 28 mil miniatures work really well together. And as you can see, the detail on them is absolutely brilliant. So... That was a quick look at the Village and Riverland set of the Adventure Realm role-playing tiles. Like I said, if you like what you saw today, you can check out their Kickstarter for Cave and Cavern, which is running at the moment. I believe it's running until July 7th. Uh, they have various pledge levels which allow you to not only pick up Cave and Cavern, but you can also pick up uh, any of their other sets and, and mix and match between them. And also get the PDFs, which are really useful if you're going to be writing your own adventures and encounters. Um, visit their store, reddragongaming.co.uk. Again, I'll put all these links below. And if you use the promo code WIZARD, one word, W-Y-S-A-R-D, you will get 10% off anything and everything that you, you decide to purchase at that shop. It'll really help out the channel. Now, I know that they, they've sent me these to review, uh, but I purchased the first two sets and it, they haven't paid me and they haven't asked me to do any, like a glowing review or anything. I think these are some of the best tiles on the market. They are inexpensive for what you get. Beautiful cardstock, uh, great illustrations on them, and they're just really useful. You get 16 tiles, which is 32 because they're double-sided, and they're just, they're brilliant. It's, it's what I generally use when I'm running a role-playing game. So yeah, check them out. And until next time, take care.